Hello, my name is Thomas Rudy, and I am an Information and Reference Librarian at the Hampton Public Library. In today's video, I will show you how to search for, borrow, and access electronic content using the Hampton Public Library catalog. In order to borrow electronic content from the library catalog, you will need the number from a Hampton Library card in good standing, and depending on which service the content comes from, a user account with Hoopla or RB Digital. If you need information on how to sign up for these services, see our video overview of the e-lending services offered here at the library. If you need to sign up for a Hamden Library card, you can do so on our website by mousing over Online Services from the top menu, selecting Online Library Card Registration, and then filling out and submitting the form on that page. Please allow 24 hours for a staff member to contact you with your new library barcode. If you have any questions, please email us at info at hamdenlibrary.org. The main way of accessing the catalog is to do so through the Hamden Public Library website. You can find our website at www.hamdenlibrary.org or by looking up Hamden Public Library on the search engine like Google or Bing. If you use a search engine, we should be the first result. Once you have gotten to the Hamden Library homepage, to access the catalog, all you need to do is find the search bar towards the top right of the screen. If you're on a mobile device, this will be towards the top of the page. You can either type in a search term and then hit search catalog, or you can just hit search catalog without entering anything into the box. That will bring you directly to the catalog. Accessing the catalog in this way brings you to a list of all titles in the Hamden Libraries Consortium. If you wish to go to the home page of the catalog, simply find the Hamden Public Library logo in the top left of the screen and left click on it. You can also directly access the catalog by going to your browser's address bar and typing in the following address hm.catalog.linelibraries.org and then hit enter. And that will take you directly to the catalog's homepage. There are two main ways to search the catalog for the item you want. The first is to browse the pre-made categories, such as New York Times bestsellers, new nonfiction, or new fiction. The items in these lists are not organized by material type. They are everything from physical materials to electronic books and ebooks and audiobooks. They're all mixed together. To separate out items that are physical or to, and to only get online items, you would have to go and do a direct search or click on the item itself to see what kinds of formats it is available in. The other way to search for items in the catalog is to use the search bar towards the top of the screen. The search bar is composed of three main parts. You have the box on the left, where you enter your key terms, the terms that you're looking for. You have the middle box here, which allows you to tell the search engine what it's looking for. Is it looking for a keyword? Is it looking for a word in the title, the start of the title, series, author, subject? You can choose. The rightmost box contains where you're looking for the information. Are you looking for it in the Hamden Public Library or in the online collection? The online collection will search for ebooks and audiobooks. For those of you who want to have a more structured search, you can also use the advanced search button, which opens up a lot more options. An example would be using multiple fields to search for both the title and the author at the same time, like so. Once you have an idea what you're looking for, just enter your search term into the box on the left. As you type, the search engine will give you suggestions of what to look for what, or what other people have searched. Make sure the middle box is set to what you want. In this case, I'm looking for Lord of the Rings, so I'm going to set mine to a title search because I want Lord of the Rings to be in the title. And then you can select either in Hamden or the online collection. I'm going to do online, 
and then hit go. After you've hit go, it will bring you to the results page, which will show you all the items in our collection that match your search terms. The results page is broken up into several parts. The main part is in the middle. It is the results. It's all the books that match your search terms. Now, if you're finding you have too many to choose from, on the left-hand side of the screen, as well as at the top of the results list, you have ways to narrow your results and refine your search. Also, these are also known as facets. The most simple facets are directly above the search results. As you can see here, we can browse by material type as well as where the materials are located. So if you say you only want ebooks, you can select the ebook symbol here, and the numbers below each category tell you how many of the search results are in each category. So for ebooks, there are 28 books that match that. So we're going to select ebooks, and that reduces us down to 28 results from 49. Now you can also select where it's available. You can do a Hamden Public Library for just ones that the Hamden Public Library owns. You can look for available now. These are for physical books that are available at the time, or you can do available online. And that's what we want at the because we unfortunately at the moment can only access online materials. So we'll hit available online. The facets over on the left hand side of the screen underneath narrow your results give you more complex options to refine your search results. To narrow your search results by that category, you simply click on the one you want. So, for instance, let's do non-fiction and non-fiction. So say we only want books about the Lord of the Rings, not the actual Lord of the Rings book. We click on the fiction, non-fiction category. And as you can see here, we have three options. We have non-fiction with 13 results in it, fiction with six results, and other with one. Not quite sure what other is, but if we wanted to just look at nonfiction books, we could click on the nonfiction category. And that applies a filter which narrows down our results. You can see a filters that have been applied to your search query up in the top left, just above the narrow your search results menu under applied filters. It'll show right now we have restricted the category to ebook and that we're only looking for nonfiction books. To get rid of these applied filters, you just click on the red X right next to them. If you're on a mobile device like a phone and you're looking for these narrow your results facets, you can find them just underneath the search bar hidden behind a button called Refine Search. Click on that button and these facets will appear. So for this next part of the tutorial, we're actually going to remove the non-fiction filter. So delete that. That takes us back to 20 books that fit our criteria. So in this part of the tutorial, we're going to look at the results themselves. Each item in the results list is numbered, so you can tell which where one begins and the other ends by seeing looking for the number and then the title. Now all formats of a particular title are grouped together in the same record. In this case, we're looking at record number two, which is the two towers. As you can see, we, underneath the information about the author and series, we see the choose a format option, and then underneath that is displayed ebooks and e audiobooks. Now, there are regular physical book editions of, of this title available, but since I had set the facet up top to just be ebooks, it originally only displayed ebooks instead of the um, instead of the print copy as well. You can force it to show those print copies though by hitting view all formats. At the moment though with the library closed, unfortunately only the ebooks are available. By clicking on the ebook filter, it removes the other physical formats and just shows you the ebooks. Now underneath each format it'll show you in which e-lending service the book is available. So for instance, with the two towers, the e-audiobook is available in the online Hoopla collection, and the e-book version is available in both Overdrive as well as RB Digital. This available online message will appear as long as the book or the item is available in any one of the services that, that have a copy ready to be checked out. 
you can see which copies are checked out and which ones are available by clicking on the Show Editions button, which should be directly underneath the format name. So if I click Show Editions, you'll see we have three items here. Two of them come directly from OverDrive and one comes from RB Digital. One of the OverDrive editions is available, the other one is checked out. And you can see these are from different publishers as well, so it gives you that information. So if you're looking for a particular edition of a book, you can hit the show editions and that will be the place where you'll find that information. Now you can check items out directly in the catalog. All you have to do is click on the checkout button right here. And if the item is not available, this checkout button will instead say place a hold. An important thing to note with checking books out through the catalog is that the catalog prefers to check things out through OverDrive first, then through Hoopla, and then through RB Digital. Now, this can be this normally isn't a problem if there are plenty of copies available. However, if some copies are checked out, for instance, ah, here's one. So the Hobbit. Here we see that there are copies available online of the ebook. However, we can only place a hold. That is because all the overdrive copies are checked out. Even the catalog prefers to place an overdrive hold even though there are copies of the ebook available in both Hoopla and RB Digital. And clicking on this button will only do overdrive. It won't do any of the other ones. So to force the catalog to check the book out to you in the correct service, you would have to click on the Show Editions button. That will bring up the list of items, and from here you can see you can either place a hold on OverDrive for either of the two editions. See, there's two editions from two different publishers, so you can place a hold on a different one if one has a particularly long waiting list. But from the other resources, so if you want to check it out from Hoopla, you would click on the Editions button and then you can click Check Out Hoopla. Now, whenever you go to check an item out, either through OverDrive or Hoopla, it will ask you for your name and your library card number. Now, with your name, I suggest only putting your last name in. Sometimes the catalog gets confused if you try to do first name, last name, or last name, first name, if you try to use both, so it's much easier to just put your last name in. And then you also put your library card in. So the library card, you just put the number in there with no spaces. As a Hamden resident, your card should begin with 21200, and then whatever has come after that. You can choose to hit Remember Me if you're on a home computer. That way, in future, instead of having to log in every time you want to place a hold or check something out, you just hit Check Out on Hoopla or Place Hold on Overdrive or Place Hold, and it will do the checkout right then and there. And once you've entered your login information, you just hit the continue button to log in. So with OverDrive, it will just check out no problem. With Hoopla, since you only have a limited number of checkouts a month, it will tell you how many checkouts you have remaining. In my case, I have four or six remaining. You can set up don't ask again, so it will just check out without asking this, but I always find the reminder to be helpful. It keeps track of how many I have left. If you really want to do it through Hoopla, though, you just hit the checkout button to confirm. But if not, you just hit close. And that will cancel the checkout. Just to give you an example of that, let's place a hold with OverDrive. OverDrive, when you place holds, will ask for a email in order to notify you when the hold is ready to be checked out or Depending on your OverDrive settings, it will just automatically check it out and let you know that it has done that. But in this case, I'm going to hit remember this email, so it'll just do it automatically next time. And then you hit place hold. There we go. Now the one caveat to this is OverDrive, it's very easy to do placing holds and checking out since your account with OverDrive is already set up when you get a library card. With Hoopla, in order to use it, you have to have set up an account with them. The same with RB Digital. With Hoopla, if you try to check out without an account, it will tell you you need to set one up before you're able to do it. 
RB, RB Digital is the same thing. Now, if you're trying to check things out with RB Digital, unfortunately, RB Digital doesn't allow checkouts or management of its materials directly from the library catalog. You have to go to the RB Digital website directly, log in, and check things out. Fortunately, though, by hitting the online access button, it will take you to RB Digital's website and it will take you to the page directly in the digital catalog where it is located. You may notice here that this says hold even though on the, the library catalog RB Digital said it was available. Uh, we're having an issue with RB Digital at the moment where items that are already checked out or on hold appearing as available in our catalog. We're getting in touch with them to get that fixed. But if you do want it, if you want to place a hold or out, you just hit the button. It'll either say bar or hold depending on if it's available or not. And it'll ask you for your username and password, and then you sign in, then it will out or place it on hold. If you already have some items borrowed from our e-lending services and you would like to manage or access them, you can do that from the catalog for Hoopla and Overdrive materials. RB Digital, unfortunately, you have to access directly through the RB Digital website or the mobile app. To access your materials from the catalog and manage your loans, log into your account by going to the login button on the catalog page. Enter your name and your library card number and hit login. Once you've successfully logged in, you can either click on the big My Account button, or if you're on a desktop, you can find the My Account information on the left-hand side of the page here. Under the My Account options, you have checked out titles, titles on hold, reading history, finds and messages, and other assorted options. The most important one is checked out titles. So when you click on that, it'll bring you to a list of items you have checked out. They will be organized by due date. However, you can use the sort by option here to change it and have them organized by title, author, format, or times renewed. From here, you can manage your checked out items. So here are a few items that I've, I have checked out for this purpose. As you can see, it tells you the title, when it was checked out, the format, and the format will also tell you from which service you got it. So this one is an e-video from Hoopla. This one here, the internet is a playground. This one is an Adobe EPUB book, which is from Overdrive. And it also gives you the opportunity to rate it and tells you when your hold will expire. Now you have a few options. For Overdrive books, you can choose to download the book straight from the catalog. So you could select a form. It gives you the option to select either as a regular e-publisher book, which has to be opened in Adobe Digital Editions, or a Kindle book for anyone with a Kindle out there. Uh, the Kindle format will bring you to Amazon and have you download it from them using Wi-Fi. Uh, you can also choose to read Overdrive books online by hitting the Read Online button. One thing to note is when you hit the Read Online button, your browser, Microsoft Edge or Chrome or whichever browser you use, might block the book from opening due to the fact that it's a pop-up. You just hit Allow once and that'll allow the book to open. Overdrive is pretty easy. You just hit the read online and possibly you might have to allow the pop-up to go through. But then it opens up in the web browser and then you can just start reading. And uh, to get back to your page, it opens it in a new tab, so you just close the tab you're in. Usually reading online is easier. Uh, downloading is good for when you have to access a book offline or you don't want to have an open internet connection. Hoopla books have an access online button instead. Now Hoopla requires you basically to go to their website in order to access it. So you'll click on the access online, it'll open up the Hoopla website, and from here you have to log in. Once you log in, it gives you access to the ability to play it in the browser, as well as options to manage whether you can renew it or return it now. 
and that opens up in a new tab. But you can so you have to access it online, unfortunately, with Hoopla. But you can choose to return an, an item directly from the catalog. So if you're done with the item and you want to send it back, you just hit return now. Are you sure you want to return this title? You hit OK. Returning your title to Hoopla. And then it'll give you a confirmation. Then you just hit close. And it reloads the page and it will be gone off your account. Now you can also see which items you have on hold by going to titles on hold. And that will show you anything that is waiting for you. With OverDrive, if an item is ready to be checked out and it is waiting for you, you just have to hit the checkout button here. And it'll give you confirmation telling you that your book was successfully checked out. And it'll have an option to go to view my checkouts. If you're worried about getting your books back in on time, you don't really need to worry. Even if you download books off of uh, the catalog, they will automatically return once their due dates have expired. That's the one nice thing about ebooks is you will never be late with them. The only wrinkle really is that RB Digital has to be managed separately. Um, but anything you borrow directly from the catalog will appear in your separate interface for the e-lending services. So anything borrowed from Overdrive here will appear in your Overdrive apps. Anything borrowed from Hoopla will appear in the Hoopla apps. So they, they work, they tend to play nice together and they work really well together. But if you have any further questions, you can always email us at info at hamdenlibrary.org. And thank you and have a nice day.